Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, this is Cassette Beast, an open world creature collecting RPG that I'm very excited to be checking out the demo for as part of the Steam Next Fest. In we go! Now rides the night through the realm into the wilderness of we're all... Whoa, my... All right. Okay. Is me... Favorite color. Hit me with a, uh... Out of these? I guess I'll go with that one there. Uh... Oh my word. Look at all this we get to do. Neat. Not really. Oh! Cowboy hat! Sharp fringe. Could be fun. Side swept. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh my word. Are those glasses? Oh my god, are those my glasses? It's me! Eye color, I mean, does it, does this matter? <laughs> does that matter? I don't know if there's maybe a better beard or... Nah, it's definitely gonna be that. Alright. In we go. To the world of Cassette Beasts. Hello. <laughs> oh my, look at this. What do we have here? A basic resource that can be exchanged for items and services. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. It's like, are you sure you really want to jump off this? Hoop. Okay, we got ourselves a locked door of sorts. I, okay, gonna need to find a key. Jump up, break my knees. Nah, let's head over here. There we go. Oh, hello. Hey. hey, stranger, don't make any sudden moves. Wouldn't dream of it. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? Spooky or sweet? Oh, it's it's Halloween time. Man, I was yeah. so spooky. I can see that. In that case, take this. Bansheep. The eerie moans of the wild bansheep at night have led many to believe that they are restless undead spears, but it's untrue. They are very much alive. They just have a bit of a wine. Who doesn't? Hey. All right, now just pop that in your cassette player and put on the headphones and press play. <laughs> Might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Your turn. Don't be shy. Wait, do we turn We turn into it? Just breathe. You'll adjust in a moment. Right. Right, let's give him hell. Okay. I mean, let's fight, I suppose. Smack sheer luck seems like oh this is a passive the user's evasion is passively raised in proportion to the amount of hp lost so if i'm low on hp i'm less likely to get kilt to attack myself yeah to attack question mark now nah, let's go for this oh wait oh smack we smack them oh we get to control this character too call for help chance to summon a temporary ally raise the user's evasion hit a target uh, I mean, I feel like you always the first fights in whatever these games are inspired by. Uh, typically, you can just kind of go all in on aggro and it doesn't matter. Yeah. Battering Ram. Equipped hits a target, lowers their accuracy. We got some plastic. Okay. You handled this up pretty well there. I'm What's your Kaylee. name? <laughs> I'm Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance, Rito. Anyway, we should probably get warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. I know it's pajamas, but like, look at that word. It, it's begging to be pronounced pajamas, right? Where are you taking me? What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? Where am I? Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> your new home. Uh, my new home? 
<laughs> right. Yeah, sorry. Not very good at this part. Don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. Wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. You're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. We got vocals. Yeah, be scared for a moment, Rito. Don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbortown happened to have a spare home available for you, so this is your place now. On what is this place? Earth? On Earth? Kaylee, you haven't told him? Sorry. Sorry, I should have. Not to info dump on you, but you're on a new island called New World. It's not strictly on Earth, at least that's what we think. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. I'm so sorry. It's, uh, I love the half, always the, the half narrated stuff. It's, it's so funny. Castaways have been trying to get back to the world's first century and none have succeeded. <laughs> but you'll be okay. There's a community here in Harvard Town and we help each other out. Not a bad life and it's safe, apart from the monsters. Yeah. yeah, I'm actually going on a patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate, the one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. Pretty sure world has word has already gotten around that there's a new lad in town. We also fetched some clothes for you, but they might be a bit uh, out of fashion for your era. But it's all we have. Sorry, sorry. I'm info dumping. Catch you soon, right? We can talk more if you'd like. My clinic's nearby. If you would need a checkup, feel free to visit. This must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. This is the world we live in. Speak to Kaylee at the Harbor Town East entrance. Oh, I love this screen. That screen there is giving me very much uh, some Thousand Year Door vibes. Should probably put on some proper clothes first. Fair enough. Oh, top color. What? Oh, here we go. Now we can get it. There we go. Can we get a hoodie? Can we get a red hoodie? Eh, not quite. That's fairly, like, that's in there. Give me a... I mean, I feel like... That's fine. Bottom trousers. Sure. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Give me, like, a... Sure. All right. We're in there. Boop. That, <laughs> that'll work. That'll work. Yep. Oops. Okay, can we, uh... So that we gotta go over to the east there. Bestiary. Oh, uh, I want a traffic crab so bad. And by that, I mean I want to be traffic crab, I guess, apparently, is what we're talking about. Can I? Yep. <laughs> We were all thinking it. Hey. Hey again. How are you feeling a little bit better? You know, you held your own last time we fought together. So, well, I've been given an errand and need a help at hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Sure. Glad you're here. Glad to hear you're up to the task. You see that path up there? There's some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. We're going to check the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Hmm. Here, take the key to the gate. Whoop. Thank you. Zoop. I do want to... Okay, there's a monster there. Some basic... I got to show you first. Hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just in no time. Like riding a bike, except you know if the bike transformed into a moody floating sheep. And you're also the bike. Hmm. You see that creep with the uh, boots? It's a spring heel, and it's going to get aggressive if you get any closer. So you're going to get closer, of course. I heard that, uh, like, a big part of this game is the fusion technique, where you can combine two cassette beasts into a different type, which I'm very, very curious about. Oh my god, look at this son of a gun. I do like him. Uh, action points, pay attention to the orange squares. They are your action points, or AP for short. Most moves require to spend some. Not of AP, the move cost is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough, you won't be able to use it this turn. Every party member gets two AP a turn and an extra one if they land a type advantage attack. Interesting. You can plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker low AP moves. 
So like smack is free, gotcha. And battering ram costs extra. That's actually that's a very clever take on a simple system in a pretty elegant way. Like wow. Um I feel like again, like why mess? Taking a bit of a beating, but your monster form can take it. The green bar represents your HP. Red is yours. If the form loses all of its health in a fight, the tape will break and need repairing. But any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health, the red bar. If both of us lose all our health, then we have to retreat back to Harbor Town. That is so, again, clever. Like, so, in a different... <laughs> okay, let's 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 get let's cut the facade. In a Pokemon style game, you know, you have all your characters, and then when they die, faint, uh, you're done. But the fact that we have our own unique health bar as well means that we could take some overflow damage and then theoretically swap into another beast instead of kind of that weird song and dance that sometimes you have to do when you are trying to keep I mean, at least I play a lot of Nuzlocke Pokemon games or Pokemon runs. Like, where you feel like you have to swap into another one to eat an attack. That is maybe not going to be as relevant, which is kind of interesting. Got that? Yes. Right. right, let's crack on. And I'm sure we're get, going to get more interesting uh, attacks. Power 70. I mean, I'm assuming our energy goes away at the start of each... Wait, hold on. What was that? Was that... Did we get extra damage? And that's the ev uh, evasion or accuracy down or something. Do they always get attack first, or I'm assuming it's probably going to be like a speed type situation? Yeah, you're punk. Sonic Boom. Pulp. All right, we're good there. Yeah. Nice work. Elevator should be functioning. There'll be a switch around here to turn it back on. I thought we were supposed to go up there. I was intentionally going the wrong way, you know? Kind of a genius. Uh, let's head up, shall we? I'll let you take the lead for more fights, but don't worry. I'll be sticking with you from here on out. Oh! Sirenade. Particularly loud creatures can amplify their own singing voices through the microphone, tails, and wings. Don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. All right. Let's head back out here for a second, because I could have sworn we were supposed to go up this way. I was in trying to intentionally go like okay so this is just a dead end gotcha you have freaking wings you have a breath of the wild hang glider and then we always like we obviously have kind of a stamina bar oh look at those snakes happy little snake hey don't bump me don't bump me yoink I do kind of want to fight them but maybe not until we learn how to catch. Do you need a break? You can rest here if you like. At a bonfire? Mm -hmm. The bonfire pit marks areas you're safe to set up camp. Gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. Ah. Party. Tape storage. No tapes. Remove four wood. Gotcha. Tells you a funny anecdote about her life. All right. That's funny. Next. <laughs> oh, it's actually nighttime. Do we have different uh, different monsters over here? We don't have any monsters over there right now. There'll be more monsters about, but we can take them. Hello. I haven't seen you around before. Let me guess. You washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Is that a cassette player you're holding? Here, take these. Fully restores the HP of one tape. Uses a turn... Oh, that's so clever. It's a pencil. It's a freaking pencil. That's clever. What's a cassette? Um, okay, so that's going to push us down. Maybe we could sprint through, but like... Let's doink around up here. We apparently have a mission up here. There, do you see that monster? Must be a way to fight it, uh, or to get it to come over here. Maybe by killing its child. No. Uh, up here, this probably the switch. Ah, we turn on the lamp and it makes it approach us, of course. Hey. Okay, take these. Basic tape. Records monster forms with a normal efficiency rate. Something about the monsters on New World. When weakened, their essence can be well recorded to cassette tapes. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does. And that's good enough for us. 
Uh, I'm assuming, I guess we can... It's implying that we should just throw it even though they're at full HP or whatever. Oh! Wait, what? So I, I, I sw switch back into this form. We're at 100%. Which I assume means we get it at the end of the turn. Dominoth. See themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing we can distract them is their from their noble duties are bright lights such as lamps. Various factor goes into su uh, successful recording, how much health they have, level and rarity, how much damage you dealt to it while recording, and how much damage... Wait, how much damage you dealt it while recording. Interesting. And how much damage the person recording it took using status... Effects to buff attacks that target the monster you're recording can be a very effective way to increase the damage and improve your odds. As long as they're being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated. Thank you. That is great. So you don't need to worry about knocking it out. That is a really nice... It's There's a lot of like really um, core design things in, you know, things like Pokemon, etc, etc, that I think are due for updates. So like, that's not a... This is not an uncommon opinion, like... Uh, I have less issues with the, the modern ones than other people, but there are certain elements uh, that are due for an update, and it seems like this game has a pretty good read on what some of those things might be, which is good. Now, try switching the tape you just uh, recorded. Alright. Transform. Okay, so we recorded it. We recorded a copy of it. But we are not... Okay, we didn't catch it. If the monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. You with me so far? Let's finish thing, this thing off. So... I think it was uh, under the impression that maybe we wouldn't have uh, gotten enough to catch it. Raise the user's speed. I mean, I feel like we can probably just smack. We don't have a whole lot of options there. Hits a whole team. I mean, sure. It's fine. We don't need to worry about conserving energy. We get it back at the end. Bloop. Sharpen. Zephyr, 60 damage to one target for cost of two. That actually seems convenient. Uh, status effect raises the user's melee attack. Plus 5% experience points per empty slot. What do you mean by that? Also, sharpen uncommon. Interesting. Are we going to get different types of the same moves? Is this meant to happen? Some monster forms give us uh, extra abilities when we record them beyond just being able to take their shapes. Don't panic. Ah. You can now hold X to glide across long distances. This consumes your stamina. Sorry. Sorry, I should have probably warned you. Thought it might be a little easier to show you. Use the glide to get across the gap right there. I want to catch this thing. Recycle for five. You know, I'll go for Carnaviper. I guess theoretically, maybe we would want to uh, charge it up first. So let's um, let's get the the bigger attack first on the, and we'll do it on the second turn. So smack, spit. Then we could theoretically record. Which I guess we should just do to this one. This should be like 100%, yeah? Like, if not there... Oh my god! Poison characters take damage at the end of the turn. Understandable. Holy crap! Okay, so that'll be 100. But at the same time... We caught you, but you're not going to be gone until next time. Theoretically, we just caught one of these so we could swap the other character into this. Despite its grinning visage, uh, the Carnaviper isn't actually a friendly creature. It's very territorial and will attack anyone that approaches it that deems a threat, which tends to be everything and everyone. Okay, so it, it, it damage after. Okay. Never mind. Wallop. 60 damage to one target for two... Cool. So 
so we might want to like swap that over there I will say like I do like the little sticker on the bottom left of the tape I feel like uh, maybe like a color palette swap or something as well like either at the very least based off of like typing but maybe off of something else as well oh look at that little freaking dog thing Oh god. Woo. Where's the fire? Oh, there's that crab. I did I did want that thing. Where was the fire? It was up there, wasn't it? I don't even remember. Well. Huh? What's going on? Is this if this is because of monster activity, we better stay sharp. Let's go. We can't just camp wherever we want, I guess, right? We can rotate here. Kind of trying to look around a bit. There it is. Should we? We can just do that. I think it's fine. We'll camp after. I do want Pom Bomb. Of course I want Pom Bomb. Are you kidding me? Bonus experience points per empty slot. Okay, we'll give that a smack. Oh boy. So you're resistant to that, or is it? are we strong against it? Let's, well, well, this is for science. Is he, or is that... Fueled. Fire-type targets can burn excess poison left over from poison-type attacks as fuel empowering them. Okay, I, I, I thought that was probably going to be the case. I just wanted to know. Uh, when they have an AP boost, they gain extra AP around. I mean, it's spooky, but again, it was important to learn for science. Okay. So that other move might not be that ex like that great for us at this point. So we'll do this, and then I guess I'll have you record. Recording. Recording. Raise arms. Okay. This should be pretty good. That didn't give us a hundred. Wait, really? So does it save progress? That's, I guess, my my question. Does it save progress? Because if it doesn't, then I guess we want to... <sighs> Again, this is for science. It did not. Okay. So even though it's at low... Holy crap! That's a lot of extra damage. So please attack the left. Okay, so that should give us extra. Got it. Oh, that's the percentage chance. It's that we don't need to get to 100. That's the percentage chance. Okay, good. Pom bombs are universally considered to be one of the world's friendliest creatures in New World. I don't think so. If it weren't for their habits of accidentally setting anything and everything on fire, they'd be quite good pets. So, d will you run now? Yeah, okay. Good, because I am hurting. You could swap to, uh, I guess I could swap to Pom Bomb, huh? So, wait, what? What does poison versus poison do? Like, we're, this is, again, for science. Eh. Nothing necessarily. Hits a target for 60 fire. Chance to be chance to be used automatically when hit with a melee attack. Ooh. That's kind of fun. Asking for a friend, do they evolve? Not that there's any precedent for that in any game ever. Oh my god, we have a I was kind of worried for a second. I was like, do we have enough wood? Uh I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland has a bunch of great places to camp out. 
Don't know if this takes place kind of in a new... Manda would drive the two of us to the countryside. We'd stargaze at each other together. Camping with you makes me nostalgic for that time. Excuse me. Okay, so ups from day to night there. So we should all be at full, yeah? Okay, so what do we want to do? I am very much the kind of guy who will completely swap out my starter the second I can. I... I, that's just kind of who I am. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to do that here. You need, you need help there, friend? You'll probably teleport. That's just kind of who I am, but I, I think I'm not going to do that right now. We can go get one of those um, crabs later. Mm -hmm. Or now. Punk. What the hell? That thing's huge. I kind of want the crab, though. I feel like poison will be good against grass. I don't know. So I think we can we'll be fine. Traffic crab elemental wall. Oh, look at that. A little Legos. Walls absorb a certain number of incoming hits. Type advantage attacks immediately will break walls. Okay. I guess with that in mind. This is my last one. Please. 62. I just want the crab. I know the I know the line is cool. I'm well aware the line is so cool. But I said crab and I don't want to be a liar. Also, I, I like I like how angry he is. He's cute. You're mine. Traffic Crab's cone isn't actually part of its body. Merely a traffic cone that's washed up on the shores of New World and been occupied by the creature. Said in the past, they would instead find other objects to live inside. I, I, I'm a fan of Krabby. <laughs> More than I should be. Uh, just considering the fact that it is just a crab. Oh, really? I thought that that would insta-break it. I do wish we could, you know, catch it, but, like, what are you going to do? I, I want them both. I want to, um... This just came to me. Uh, I want to catch them all. It just, just came to me. I, I don't know. It'd be fun to catch them all. I feel like I got it, you know? Plant-type uh, targets absorb poisons left over, poison-type attacks, and take damage from this over time. Oh, so, oh, they take, like, double poison. That's an interesting way to do the type advantage stuff. I, I kind of like it. How it has a sort of a unique impact. I do really like that. Yeah, we very much are in the early game of a monster collecting game, though, where uh, the basic attacks are... We're not having to be too strategic, but there is at least more strategic elements. Prevents opponents from directly targeting the user's allies for three turns. That would be really good for... So I guess what I'm trying to figure out... Do we not want to get hit while we're recording? Because I think it looked like it went down. It said it listed the factors, but it didn't say if they were good or bad factors. I think that getting hit is a bad factor. So provoke either way. Either way, one or the other. We could use this to uh, help us out with not having that um, be as much of a concern. Crab. I want to be a crab. I want to be a crab. I want to be a weak little crab. Uh, determined by what... S Wait, what the heck? The moves you have access to while using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. You can give them new moves by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers to put in your inventory. Stickers can be used many time, as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. You can buy, get them by filling tapes, experience bars from chests and caches from certain merchants. Ooh. I have no current compatible stickers. But like, could I... It's a target, heals a little.
peel. That's mine. That's mine. I now understand the empty slots. So can I apply? Ah, so they have to be of that type? So like... Oh, I have no duplicate. Oh, okay, I have a duplicate type, but I don't know if I really feel like going into finagle with that. All right. Boop. What you got, punk? Okay, you felt that one, right? Hi. Dungeon? What's that? Is this always here? I've never seen anything like this before. Has this always been buried here? Is it a shrine? There's a lot of like tiny little Breath of the Wild huh? element influences here, which are kind of interesting. Is this a train station? Should be okay to look around, right? Zoop. Wait, wait I guess I should check this. Is it like a little little pop-up dungeon? This place smells like burning metal. I can't explain it. Well, you, I mean... Probably smells like burning metal. Seems like you did a good job to me. Can you feel something in the air? Am I going to fight a train? Is that you, Mordred? Come closer, child, so that I may see you one last time. This is... this is... The long conflict has drawn to an end. I'm afraid he has defeated me truly this time. I think this is an archangel. We need to leave now. This isn't like the other monsters. We're not safe here. Who are you? No, no, no. You are not my kin. You come for me once again, sword in hand. Oh, no. Oh, no. Archangel Morganta in... Wait, broken in spirit. Level 100. I mean, I'm a crab. Who would win a crab or god themselves? Seems impactful to maybe do that. Lower their evasion, hits the targets. Dog ears. I mean, hey. That we can. I doubt that we can, like, win this. Missed. Lol. Just put up double walls. Double walls. Keep on doing the inflame. Maybe we can cheese this. Burn characters take damage at the end of their turn. Okay. Unlike monsters that spend AP to use move, Archangels accumulate all their AP, AP until it reaches 10. When it reaches 10, it unleashes all their power at once with its unique angelic attack. To survive, use your move strategically until they're set up a solid defense in preparation to defeat the Archangel before it gets enough AP. Uh, I mean... Yeah, setting up these walls feels valid enough right now. Like, if all that's all Mr. Krabs does. I guess that's the bummer. I can't... I mean, maybe I can rename the, uh, the monsters. Not gonna die here. Not like this. Do you hear me? This isn't the end for us. It can't be. I refuse. I refuse. I mean... We're gonna fight this thing, and we're gonna do it together. Okay, our hearts act as one. Hey, my Legos. Traff a bomb! Oh my god. We combined the bomberanian thing in and the traffic cone. Is there really a combo unique to every single two? When your goals are aligned with those of your companion, you can fuse together to become a singular, more powerful beast. 
The closer you are to your companion, the more powerful you'll be as a fusion. Keep an eye on your fusion meter. You can only fuse when this is full. You gain 4 AP each turn instead of 2, allowing you to make use of more powerful moves sooner. Also have access to the moves of both tapes combined and your stats are added together. Interesting. Feels like the wall no longer makes that much sense. That seems like we should just go for the inflame. But yeah, so we are a combo of that crab and the the dog. We're much less cute, I'll admit. Oh, get wrecked. Thing is full. I mean, I have my wall up still. So I'm not too worried about it. Coda Morgana. Hey, I said that first. Lol, my Legos gotcha. Imagine you're, if your most powerful ultra move can't stop a wall of Legos. Okay, now I feel like I need to know what the combination of everything else is. Olive up. Instantly levels up a character. <laughs> Level up a character. Rotten eggs. But rangers seem to regard it as valuable. Uh... How did we... Uh. Stamina increased by 20% and you can now glide for three three hey, seconds. No. Enough my time is drawing to an end. Why have you come to this wretched place? I want to go home. I see there is a way. There are none who know the path, but I. I require a vessel and you require a guide. Rebuild my strength and I shall, in turn, shall lead you from this land. Very well. Very well. Hear my song. Uh. If you wish to leave this land, then heed my words and hear my song. You must rise to the task at hand. You must walk the path most long. The rest of the song is too quiet to make out. <sighs> you okay? What happened? You blanked out for a second there. We should get out of here. Hmm. A lot happened at the train station. I guess we should probably talk about it. Archangels. Archangels. Supposedly when the first unlucky saws washed up on the swords of New World, they thought monsters here were angels. And some of them wrote, wait, wrote of other entities too, greater than the others, creatures that they, that look and feel wrong. Logically, they called these other creatures archangels, the highest ranking among the order of angels. Of course, when people learned they could fight and defeat the regular monsters, they lost their angelic allure. Well. They've had a bunch of names over the years, angels, demons, devils, ghouls, we just call them monsters now. It's a good catch-all term. Oh, Other creatures, though, like the one we fought, they're still archangels to us. We don't know what they are. No one has really seen one for a long time. Looking at that thing we fought, it's kind of hard to explain. I felt like I wasn't viewing it correctly, like trying to watch a movie through binoculars or something. Sorry, Sorry I was making some assumptions there. We're all from different worlds, after <laughs> all. You might not know what movies are. I'm... I just, I, I know what movies are. <laughs> yes, Kaylee, I know what movies are. You okay, Grant. I've been in uh, New World for three years. I've still not completely learned how to adjust my cultural references when I talk to new folks. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Fusion's a rare phenomenon known by the rangers. There are fused monsters in the wild, and supposedly the leader of the rangers can do it, too. In the right circumstances, two people in monster form are able to unite and form one powerful being. It's the right circumstance, including nearly being killed by an archangel. Felt strange. In that moment, I was sharing a body with you, and the thing we became was both of us and not us at all at the same time. Uh... Never fused with anyone, anyone before. I certainly wasn't expecting to fuse with someone I barely know. Mm -hmm. It just happened uh, in the heat of the moment, Sorry. right? Sorry. Talking about it is a little awkward. We wouldn't have survived yeah. without it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Now that we've done it, I have this weird feeling inside me like a door has been opened that I didn't even know was there before. I feel like I'd be able to fuse with you again if I, if we ever needed to. Hmm. Let me get this straight. The Archangel Morgant, her memory is inside you now, and she knows a way to leave New World. There's even a chance that this could lead away off this island and return people to their normal homes and lives. We owe it to everyone in New World you to find out. I. You and I. What do you say? Are we in this together? Yeah, I'm not going to be one heart. <laughs> we have fused, and we have one heart. We've been, this, we've been literally the same person. We were, uh, um, you know, 
co-worker level maybe at best uh, fusion is uh, now available in regular battles when you're partnered with Kaylee fusions you form with Kaylee have a 5% added strength it's kind of fun building relationships with your friends is really important strength of the relationship directly affects how strong you are when fused together you can get closer to someone by completing their quests battling alongside them and when the time is right you can take a break at the campfire or cafe to level up your relationship if an archangel gave you that vision then uh, you need to find another one you need to be strong enough to stand against it when you do Well, there you go. The Rangers have a training program that'll help you become strong enough. Let's begin by getting you a meeting with the Ranger leader. She'll be at the outpost at the park right about now. Dang, is there really, like, is there more in the demo? Kaylee engages you with an enthusiastic discussion of your favorite dog breeds. Uh, bomb. All right. Kind of was anticipating a demo in. Hey! Don't make me yell at you again. Harbor Town won't fall to you, blood suckers. So Just actual vampires, like actual vampires. So unreasonable. <sighs> Crawl back to the darkness you came from. You'll have to go through me. Fought your kind before and won. Do you want a demonstration? We shall leave for now. But in time, you shall understand that we know what is best for you all. Yeah. The rest of your kind. Uh, wait. The rest, tell the rest of your kind that this town is protected by Eugene. Let me know if those creeps bother you again, ma'am. And whatever you do, don't invite them to your house. That's what they want. Thank you. Keep that in mind. Thanks for intervening, young man. Hey. Hey. Sorry, Ed, to see Eugene. that. Name's Eugene, which I guess you know because I just yelled at those guys. Always nice to meet new faces around here. I don't know. Won't trouble you with the details, but they don't belong in this world. They just say. Let's just say that not all monsters in New World look like cereal mascots. Anyway, I gotta stake out those guys. I can't risk them sinking their teeth into good people of Harbor Town. <laughs> You're willing to get your hands dirty. I'd be glad to have you assist. Meet me at this location. I'll give you a full blowdown when you're there. Just prepare yourself for a throwdown. Things might get kind of ugly. This is the end of the demo from both of us. Both. This is a two-person team. It's so cool. Wow! I hope you enjoyed this little taster. You can continue this save file in the full version of the game. Very cool. Cassette Beasts. Uh, yeah. Link in the top description if you want to check it out for yourself. Uh, the demo may or may not still be up, depending on, I don't know if the, uh, when this video goes up, if the next fest will still be going on. But you can definitely make sure you wishlist the game. Uh, get you know check in when maybe a demo goes live again or uh, to at the very least make sure you get notified when the game comes out later this was very very promising it's doing a lot of things like I played a lot of um, I you know I can't believe it it's not Pokemon's and this is it's m definitely its own thing more uh, than like pretty much all the other ones I, I've checked out you know, in recent years. It's doing a lot of really cool things and it's blending in a lot of different uh, elements and pieces from tons of different, like, very uh, well-regarded uh, games and places, things like that, in, in a package that I think is going to be very, very appealing to, uh, to a large audience. I really do think so. And I just, I really enjoyed it. I thought that was quite nice. Um, I think the fusing mechanic thing is really interesting considering that... Uh, when you consider that there's theoretically a two-unit combination for any single beast there is, theoretically, that's kind of nuts, right? That's sort of uh, sort of wild to think about, and it's really fun to think of like what kind of different synergies and weird things you could do with that aspect, that element of it. Uh, not to mention the fact that there were definitely some strategic elements we could employ already, especially with kind of like almost a almost a forced double battles system, um, but the enemy might not always be a double. Like, kind of that forced double battle system, I think is, you know, it ele it adds elements of uh, extra strategy to it, even early on in the game. But all of these games, they get more strategic as time goes on as well, so I'm sure that it would get a little bit more uh, spicy. Not to mention the fact that there were uh, both accessibility options in the settings that I noticed when checking out here. I can even take a, take a gander at it here to show you. 
uh, to increase AI smartness, literally up to literally Skynet, and you can make it so there's an impenetrable grind or uh, boring, you know, disabled level scaling, just, you know, you can really play around with it. You can make it an impenetrable grind with literally Skynet enemies if you really want. You can make it super difficult. You can make it super easy, et cetera, et cetera. I think that that's really, really nice. But alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day, typically with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites, the kind of, you know, like Pokemon Nuzlocke of it all. I, I do enjoy that kind of uh, style of game, the more, you know, permadeath hardcore style thing. But I just love me a creature collecting game. If there's ever, like, a new one uh, in the indie s scene that seems really promising, I will check it out, you know, like... Uh, you know, there was Koromon, everything like that that we checked out fairly recently. There was, uh, gosh, there, there was Abomination. There, there, there was some really fun, uh, interesting takes on it. But So I will not miss, like, a really, really promising new one of that type of game. Because for some reason it seems to do pretty well on the channel, even though I'm mostly roguelikes and roguelites. But alas, thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Indies and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.